Hi, and welcome to tutorial four. Uh, today we're going to be doing the um, widgets. So I want to sign in. Um, again, the best way to sign in is using Google. Choosing the email that you signed up with your WordPress. For me, I have to choose the site that I'm going to because I've got a number of projects I'm working on. So there's my project I'm working on right now. Go down to customize your theme. To widgets. Uh, today we're going to be doing the sidebar. And we're going to add a widget. Okay, so right now I'm looking for the uh, it's called the face page plug in and I'm going to click that one now I have already got it there but I just done this to show you and I'm going to put a title which is my interactive Views Facebook Again, this is just as an example. Now it says here, Facebook page URL. What that means is that you are going to go to your Facebook and see the page that you created for your business or for your website. And we can get into that in another tutorial for creating a Facebook page. Look up at the top up here, and what you're going to see is you're going to see right after facebook.com forward slash the name that you gave your page. And this is the name that I gave my page. See, I don't want the whole thing because then it's going to take me into something else. I just want this part right there. And I'm going to copy that bring it over here and put it right here. Okay, so the next thing it's going to tell you, you're going to, this is what, how much space it's going to take up on your website. Your width is going to be 340 pixels and your height is going to be 432. You can show faces if you want and you can also show the the cover photo okay so I'm doing that and I just wanted to show you what it's going to look like and of course you need to publish that So now I've put this in the sidebar and uh, my sidebar is on the right.
and it looks like I made a mistake. So that's good because making a mistake shows you what what needs to be what needs to be done properly. So I'm actually going to see what mistake that I made. I'm going to go back here. I don't actually see a mistake, so that's probably not correct. So now I'm going to go back to looking at my page, visiting the site, and my Facebook information should be there. Okay, what I did was I didn't take the other one out. So there you have all my Facebook information right there. And this is ongoing and it updates as well. Okay, so now going back to the customizer again. Now, I just wanted to show you that with this, anytime you want to get into your widgets, anytime you want to take something out, like for instance, look, it says Facebook page plugin, which I have not configured. And now I am going to take it out because I have not configured it and I don't want it in there. It needs to be removed. I'm going to publish this. And then there, it now has the proper information in there. Okay. Now, the next widget I want to add will be the Twitter. So I'm going to look for the Twitter. Twitter timeline and I'm going to add it in here. Okay, uh, it's going to say follow me on Twitter and this is the maximum width is 220 to 1200. I'm looking at the height. So I'm just going to go with um, 220 to start with. Uh, it says show the number of tweets. I'm going to go five. Sorry. Five. Five. Whoop. Not 55. Um, the Twitter name, which I've now gone up here to my Twitter. And I'm actually old using a Twitter that I made a while ago, so it's day hole two twelve. Yeah, sometimes when you move too fast on your computer, it doesn't. So do I want a header? Yes. Do I want it in, in the heading? Yes. Do I want it in the footer? Yes. Sorry. I'm going to go with everything there. And there I'm done. And we're going to see what that's going to look like. I'm going to publish it. And there is my, my Twitter feed. That's just come up right there. Because I said five tweets. So it's now showing me the five last tweets that I did. 
Now, there's two things to remember. The first is that you need to create your Facebook page, and I'll just show you briefly where you would do that. When I go here, if I want to create a page, then I can do it. It's just a matter of going to your actual Facebook page. And there should be something that comes up on the side it's not really doing that for me right now so I'm clicking this arrow right here and I'm going to click create a page okay now this is just for show a business or a brand get started I'm going to give my page a name um, I'm going to call it uh, free WordPress tutorials and I'm going to add a description which is um, a DIY WordPress tutorials these are options Okay, uh, whether I want to show my phone number or if I want to show an address. And I don't want to show an address right now, so I'm going to continue. Oops, you have to put your address in just in case, but don't show it. And I make these mistakes so that you're able to see what mistakes you can make because it's important that uh, you know that if you make mistakes that they can be corrected okay, so there we go oh I missed the poster code I'm not sure okay it says add a profile picture. So I'm going to skip this step because I don't really want to go into my file right now. So I'm just going to skip this step for now. That says upload a code. Uh, I'm going to skip that step as well because I'm going to do a tutorial on creating a cover for Facebook. So I'm skipping that as well. So now it's creating my page. This is my page right here. Okay. And in a, another uh, tutorial, I will do adding a cover for it, um, which I'll show you how to do that. But getting back to your Facebook right now, or your um, your WordPress right now, okay, it's this actual address, but it's going to ask you um, in your settings here, it asks you a lot of questions in which you can edit everything. Add everything, add all your information in here, and after this information is added in and you save it, then it will then come up on your page. Okay, so that's pretty much it for just adding the page right now. Going back to the WordPress. The next thing I, I want to mention is the Twitter. If you haven't created a Twitter account, then please create your Twitter account now. 
because you will be using it for, as you can tell, for your posts that will then come up on your WordPress here. Like for instance, I'm going to make a post right now and I just it says what's happening. I'm just going to say wishing everybody a great day. Um, I'm going to tweet that. Mm, now I'm going to go back to my post here. Uh, sorry, uh, my WordPress here. I'm going to refresh that. And that should have picked up what I just tweeted. And as you can see right there, there it is. Okay. Now, you could see how powerful that is. How your information gets transferred so quickly. And that's why it's important for you to create your Facebook account with a new page. And also create your Twitter account. Um, in a, another tutorial, I will be talking about doing your Pinterest account. So now, getting back to the widgets. As you can tell, you d you've done your sidebar. Now, I want to show you what a footer looks like as well. Okay, so I'm going to add a, a widget down here. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to add a, social icons. I'm going to add a, a social icons and it says follow us. And I'm just going to add this to show you what it looks like. It says to view available icons. So let's have a look at that. Some of them are different. So I just wanted to show you what is what could be available to you. This is how you put your your information for your icons is right here. Is the information that's already in there that you've already put in for your Facebook and your Twitter that should come up and any other information that you've put in for any of your other social sites. So I'm just going to close that. And I'm just going to wait for this to stop doing that. So as you can tell, it's put my information in here of the three places where I have put information before. We just did the widget for the Twitter and we did the widget for the Facebook. And I did the widget for the, or not the widget, but the information for the Instagram earlier. So I'm just waiting for that to finish.
And then after it finishes, I am going to click this close here, which I'm not able to do yet. And when it's done, it'll show me when it's done, and then I can publish it, and then you'll see it coming up. It's taking a longer time than it's supposed to, actually, but... Sometimes if something takes too long, hit the refresh button. It refreshes everything, and if anything got stuck, then uh, it'll take care of it. But the only reason I think that it should be it would be taking this long is that maybe some of the information here is not correct. I'm going to take out Instagram and then see if that makes a difference. Anyways, going on, I will show you that as soon as it's done. Getting back into Okay, well, it seems to be taking a, a longer time, which isn't good, so I'm just going to click out of this for a second and find out ooh, why it's doing that. Click back in. I'm just going to click done and... It should be showing me at the bottom here those are the blogs that I follow, but see it has this follow us down here. And this is where you click to edit it, and that's where it comes in. And then that's where it would add your icons in. Or you can add your Facebook and your Twitter or your Pinterest or your Instagram. Okay, just to let you know about that. I will get back to... Um, why it didn't show up down there, but for now, uh, that's the end of uh, tutorial four, and uh, I'm looking forward to doing more. Just um, subscribe and like, and let me know that what I'm doing is helpful to you. Okay, bye.